Welcome to Medicine Online. We'll be discussing the most interested series of lectures, so if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please do thumbs up, hit a subscribe button, and press the notification bell icon to stay tuned. Today, we are going to have a brief overview of headache. Because it is the most commonly encountered symptom in our everyday clinical practice, and according to the WHO, it is one of the 10 most common causes of functional disability. Headache may be primary, don't have any underlying cause, such as tension-type headaches, migraine and cluster, or secondary headache that always has an underlying cause, such as head trauma or infections. Although the most episodes of headache are harmless, potentially life-threatening causes, such as subarachnoid hemorrhage, meningitis should always be considered. We will discuss each one of these in a separate video, but here main focus was to give you a brief idea about a primary and secondary headache. Now let's have a look at some important clinical features presented with headache. Duration of a single episode. Frequency, meaning how frequent these episodes are. Clinical course is significant, either it's chronic or acute. Second most significant feature is to assess the nature of the headache. Localization, describing the feature, either it's unilateral, bilateral, or orbital. Characteristic of pain that is either pulsating or stabbing. Triggers and exacerbating factors include altered sleep-wake cycle, physical exertion, stress, certain types of food or alcohol, fluctuations in hormone levels, oral contraceptives, menstruation. Lying down or standing up leads to change in intracranial pressure and thus leading to worsening of symptoms. Recent trauma, this may indicate intracranial bleeding. Environmental exposures like carbon monoxide poisoning. Now let's come to the part of making the diagnosis. Firstly, always check vitals. These include temperature, heart rate, respiratory rate, blood pressure, and blood oxygen saturation. Further laboratory evaluation and imaging, CT or MRI, is only needed if high-risk factors or red flag signs are present. High-risk factors or red flag signs are the ones that indicate a serious or life-threatening condition. These features include features of secondary headaches, Horner syndrome, and fever. Again, we will discuss all of these in upcoming lectures. How should we treat headache? Again, for secondary headache that always follow an underlying cause. That underlying cause needs to be evaluated and managed accordingly. But if no underlying cause is there, then lifestyle modifications, like having a good sleep, taking hot bath, and avoiding exacerbating factors, or else we can go with over-the-counter drugs like NSAIDs or acetaminophen.